All right, last but not least review for at least today, I'm gonna to be talking about the SOG Flash 2. If that name sounds familiar, it's because I did a review on the SOG Flash 1, which is right here. I'm gonna be kind of doing a little comparison because, uh, you know, just add something into this review. First, we'll get the facts um, out of the way. Um, comes in the box. People are so amazed by that. Here is the Flash 2. Um, I'll talk about a little bit about some of the this part in just a bit, but uh, the blade is a uh, 3.5 uh, by 0.125 inches. Uh, it's overall it is eight inches. Weighs a uh, 3.1 ounces. Uh, it's partially serrated. I believe that there are different uh, combinations. So I think there's are not combinations. Different variations. Um, one uh, being plain edge and the other being you know other things like you know serrated. As well, the handle also has different designs, and the blade, there comes different ones like Tiger Stripe, which looks pretty cool, but I don't have that. But uh, yeah, there's different choices there. Uh, Aus 8 Steel is the blade, pretty good steel there, so you know you're going to be paying a little bit more, but you know the steel is pretty damn good. Uh, Zytel handle right here, it's uh, all assembled in the U.S. as what they claim. Um, th uh, this goes for $84 US from the SOG website. Um, I looked on HKS, who gave this compliments to me. Thank you very much. Yet again. Um, he sells his for, um, you know, they range from $48 to $55 US. It depends on what design you want. I mean, the, there's ones that are actually lower. I think there's one that's like $44, but, you know, it depends on the design because the designs uh, change the price. So, um, Let's talk about the knife. I um, guess we'll just talk about this knife before we compare the two. Uh, right here, you know, you got your little lock. Because this is a uh, SAT um, knife, it's Spring Assist, or SOG, what is it? The SOG Assist Technology, that's what they call it, I believe. So, uh, got your lock. So, if this, if you don't see red there, that means that your knife is not going to come out. And that's for security in your pocket as well, you know. You don't want it just going off in your hand, you know, freaking you out. But that's also really cool to have right here. This is uh, this is to get the knife down, but I'll show you that in a second. So if you want to use it, you flick that down. Should see a little bit of red, which you probably can't see because the lighting doesn't show. Ah, there we go. There's some red. So that shows you that you know this knife will spring open as soon as you flick it. You flick it and it springs open like that. That is nice and easy. I like that. It's really easy. It's, uh, I mean, literally, you just give it a little bit of pressure and it flips out on its own. So that's really good to have. Mine is partially serrated, as you can see right there. Nice uh, plain edge blade up there, nice and sharp. Um, as well, I've got a black uh, finish here. I don't know what you call it. Um, you know. Uh, what else? Um, Here's, here's one thing that I thought was kind of interesting, this little part. I like this part, actually, because I find that it's nice and easy. It's kind of got a nice round, uh, I guess, kind of round thing. So it really allows you to just flick it down if you've got bigger or smaller hands. And you can do a one-handed closing of this knife, like so. so. I'll just show you again, really quick, one-handed closing. Although I'd probably advise, you know, two-handed, just to be extra careful. Um, that's that. I like this. I like this a lot. Uh, comparing these two, this is the SOG Flash 2, remember? This is the SOG Flash 1. Now, the SOG Flash 1 is actually surprisingly small in comparison. Um, you know, this is kind of, this is like I showed you, I think, before. If I position it like this, you can hide that with your finger. This, um, there's no way that you could probably hide this really that well. So this is definitely a bigger uh, version of it, not to say that this is inadequate to it. This is just a smaller version, if you like that. One thing that I noticed on their website, they show this being the uh, little uh, handle, or, uh, you know, retrieve, I don't know what you'd call it. Um, they show this to on the Flash 2 and the Flash 1 to push the knife down. But on this, I have a rounded one. I don't know if this is an older version or a newer version. I'm assuming it's a bit older, but, you know, I don't really care. I like this a lot more than uh, this. Uh, just because it's got, I feel like it's got more uh, grip, and I don't have as much trouble with it, so. And as well, you know, I can do a one-handed uh, closing with this, too. But I prefer this rounded part. So if you have a choice, I might go with the rounded one, just because I like it a little bit more than this. This one's a, this one's a little bit flat, as you can see. 
comparison to that, which has a bit more, I guess, you know, sticks out a bit more. So that's pretty cool. So both of these knives, this is the smaller version, so if you want to carry something a little bit smaller, I'd go with the SOG Flash one. Nice little competent knife, you know, it's sharp, it's also OS8, I believe. And so, you know, it's pretty much, it's got the exact same design, this is just a lot bigger. This is, uh, you know, it's got serrations as well, and like I said, there are different variations of both of these knives. Uh, there's plain edge of these, both of these knives. There's camo designs on here, there's tiger stripe, which I have not seen personally, but it looks really cool. I might get a tiger stripe sometime, but uh, yeah. As well, you know, you got these uh, sa the safety part so it doesn't go off in your pocket on both of these, which is also really good because, um, you know, you don't really want this, uh, this knife, you know, just a little tiny flick and then it's off in your pocket and you got a knife in your leg the next moment. So that's also really good to have. I like, I like the SOG uh, flashes. I think they're really, really good. I like the spring assist. They're both easy on both of these knives. And as well, you know, I like the fact that it's Aussie uh, blades because they just feel a lot stronger. And, you know, the locking system on this is excellent. I mean, these blades do not move at all. And th that's interesting because, um, um, what do you call it? You know, if, if they move, that's not really good. And, you know, with moving parts, there's generally more things that will happen than just something that's stationary, like a fixed blade. For example, you know, one of these moving blades, any kind of moving blades, whether it be, you know, uh, spring assist or it's just, uh, you know, one of those thumb studs, the flippers, there's chances of things happening that wouldn't happen with a fixed blade. But these seem very, very well. I mean, these cut well, these are perfect. Um, this is definitely, if you want to get a nice compact knife, look at the SOG Flash 1, different variations, like I said. Um, really nice knife, just a little small little pocket knife that you can, you know, conceal if need be. Or you want to get the bigger one, which yeah, is actually, it's surprisingly big. I mean, I can hold this with my one hand, and this I could just hold with maybe like two fingers, which is, I thought was kind of interesting how small and big they are. But this, this is definitely a pretty, this is a pretty nice knife if you want something bigger than the SOG Flash 1, Flash 2. Nice big knife, good handle. I mean, it's the exact same handle as the other one. Got good grip. You know, they got the grooves for your fingers so they don't slide forward. Uh, no, no little uh, grooves there, though. So if you want to cut, you don't have any real grip there. But I doubt your hand will really, you know, screw up there. But it's also a really cool knife. So I definitely check this one out. The SOG Flash 2. Uh, look at the description. I have a direct link to it. It's, um, you know, good price on the website there. So that's where I got it from. And so, you know, you want something big, SOG Flash 2. Want something small, SOG Flash 1. Both really, really good knives. Actually, I'd actually maybe suggest you get them both just because, you know, one small, one big. So check it out. Uh, fair prices. Um... I'm I'm really happy with this knife. I am so glad I got the SG Flash 2s. But that's uh, that's something you might want to check out. And uh, yeah, I'll have more reviews up in maybe a few days or maybe tomorrow. Depends on when my more knives come in. So uh, see you then.